this is the Sharp MX315 NV printer and I'm going to be resolving dirty print, blood print out. You can see the printout on this um, particular page is very dirty and I'm going to show you how to resolve the issue. So this particular fix can work for different Sharp models. Um, I've lifted, I listed it on the screen for you to see. It can work for virtually any Sharp photocopier. Like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take out the, the cartridge container and then I'm going to take out the, the drum unit also. So I'm going to open this front cover followed by this uh, cover on the right hand side. That is for this particular model. It differs for um, different models. So hold on, I just want to get my screw for, uh, screwdriver from my back. So I'm going to first of all press this down. Once you press it down, it becomes easy for you to remove the uh, cartridge container easily. So that is out. And the next thing I'm going to detach the DV, the DV um, sensor plug. And then I am going to take out the screws. We have um, a couple of screws here. I think around three. Three screws I'm going to take out on so that I can remove the, the developer unit. After the developer unit, I am going to remove the drum unit. So basically what I'm going to do today is to be able to troubleshoot and check what is causing the dirty print. There are three things that can cause it. Your developer unit can cause it and then that is if it spills the um, developer on your paper. And then the drum also can cause it. The drum, if the drum is bad, it can cause this issue. If your blade is bad, it can cause this issue also. So I'm going to have checked the developer. The developer appears to be okay. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to remove the drum unit. So I'm going to take out the screw that is holding the drum unit down. If you've not done already, I'd like you to like, um, like and subscribe to, to the channel. I have great videos on how to solve different office equipment. So this is a drum unit. Now for the drum unit, um, there are several factors you have to consider to be able to determine that your drum is bad. Folks, so um, for, for, for starters, the first thing I, I normally do is just spin the drum, spin the drum clockwise and anti-clockwise, and check if if um, if that comes with it. So I'm going to spin the drum um, clockwise, and then I'll check if there is um, if the blade is cleaning it. If the blade appears to be fine and is cleaning the drum well, and then it's still having dirty prints, then check if the drum is a genuine drum. Most of the knockoff drums on from China and the rest and all kinds of um, drum on the market right now, uh, most of them appears might appear to be good, but actually they react bad with the with, with toner, and then it gives you this dirty print. So sometimes you might check and the uh, blade might appear to be okay, and, and and you still have this dirty print out. So most of the time it's just it's still the drum. So right now I've been able to detect that the drum is bad because this is a, is a knock uh, it's one of those knockoff drums you, you sell um, cheap drums they sell online so I, I know from from the look of it that this the corporate here is likely the drum so I'm going to replace the drum at the same time I think I, I will replace the blade also because I don't know how long the blade has been working so I don't want to replace the drum right now then later. I will still have them to call me back to replace the blade for them. So I just replace the two. I assume that the, the blade is either bad or about to go bad or is weak. So I'm going to replace the two. For you, for you, if you're doing yours, if your blade is okay, it, it is fine. You can just leave the blade. And then you can just leave the blade. But for me, I like to replace the drum and the blade because I don't know how long the blade has been working. So I would to be able to take out the drum, I will just uh, gently take out the screws on the side. You can see the screws on either side of it. To take out the drum is pretty easy for this particular model. I will take out the screws on the side and the drum just comes off easily. I will take out this, there's this plastic at the other end that will enable me to take out the drum easily. So this is out. So the plastic is out right now and then the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, take out the drum. So this is the blade, you can see the blade is bad, so I'm going to be replacing this with this new uh, blade, you can see the new blade I, I just got, I'm going to replace it with this. 
So if you can't get your hands on any of these, you can just hit me up in the comment section. I'll link, um, give you a link to where you can be able to get these things. You know, um, at good price also. Replacing the drum and your blade. Remember to clean the charger because if um, the charger is dirty, it can also give you this dirty print. That is one of the things you look out for. You look out for the charger on it. Uh, you look out for the blade and then the drum. And then the toner also, part toner also can cause dirty print. So while replacing the drum, what I just do is that I service all the components that has to do with um, the drum blade, which is the charger roller. You can see the charger roller, just clean it up. This is the charger roller. If it's dirty, it can also give you this dirty print. If your blade is bad, it can give you this dirty print also. So I'm going to replace, uh, clean the charger roller, fix it back, and see if it works. So for you that are troubleshoot, that, that is just trying to troubleshoot it, you just want to troubleshoot it to get um, the, the particular core. The first thing you do is to remove the drum it. You clean your charger roller, you fix it back. If it works, good for you. If it doesn't work, you remove the drum unit again and then um, check your blade. Remove the blade, put another blade. If it works, perfect. If it doesn't work, then check your drum. If you replace your drum, and it's still giving you the same issue. After replacing your drum and your blade and your charger is, is good, and it's still giving you the same issue, try. The toner, the, the toner you're using might be bad. Okay, so those are one of the things you have to check out for when working on uh, this particular model. Basically, any sharp model out there. trying to do right now is just to replace the the, the, the drum unit okay I, I think okay I don't know if you can see it so I've replaced the blade the blade on it I'm sorry I couldn't capture it with the camera I didn't know the camera was not um, focused on um, what I'm doing so I'm going to try I'm going to spin the the blade uh, the drum clockwise to see if the blade cleans properly now, how, how you know that the blade cleans properly is once you spin the drum clockwise, you notice that um, no the um, toner comes with with the with the drum as you spin it. Once you spin it and no toner comes with the drum, your 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 blade is working fine. But once you spin it and it comes up with dirt, your blade isn't fine. You have to still. Uh, clean you have to replace the, the blade probably something is wrong with the blade or the drum is actually bad and if, while spinning it you discover scratches on the scratch on the on the drum the drum is bad also because those imprints are going to be showing on your print out so I've been able to replace them I am going to fix but I am fix the um, the drum units toner cartridge and the developer unit back and screw it exactly the way I met it and then I'll close up all the doors and then try print out they should be able to solve the problem so they should be able to solve the problem after fixing all this
you have to be very careful while fixing the the, dro the cartridge unit. This is a bit tricky, especially if the developer unit is not seated properly. Sometimes you have to like try to um, get the angle. There's an angle where it's sitting, like a real. Once you fix it on the rail, it just go go in easily. So if you fix it and it doesn't go in easily, check the rail. There's something wrong with the railing, or you've not screwed it in properly. Like for this, the reason why it's not going in is because I've not actually screwed it in properly. So when I try to fix it, it's just holding it back. But once it's screwed in properly, if you fix it, it should be able to solve the problem. So I'm going to check again. Something is wrong somewhere with the developer unit. Either, either the developer unit is not seated properly because once the developer unit is not seated properly your, your cartridge won't fit in properly so I've been able to fix everything in and I'm going to do a printout let's see if the problem is solved okay let's see I've sent a, a test print okay so let's see okay I think this has been able to resolve the problem so this is just how to fix dirty prints on any printer model thank you I'll see you some other time